Hi, my name is Adora Svita. When I was 12 years old, about 10 years ago, I gave a talk called What Adults Can Learn From Kids. And the reason I was so motivated to give that talk was because I oftentimes felt like adults were not taking children's voices as seriously as they should. I thought that because I looked around at our education system and I realized that even though students are the people who education is for, they rarely seem to be at the decision-making tables where choices were being made that would impact all of our futures. So that was how I got started, and it made me realize that we really need more young people speaking up. There are so many ways to get involved. Anytime you look around and you see there's some kind of problem in your community that needs solving, you can be a big part of that solution. Whether it's people going hungry, or students who need better opportunities at school, or litter on beaches, there are so many ways that young people's voices and stories can matter here. I'm thinking of elementary schoolers who worked with their whole school to start a petition to get Universal Studios to include more environmental content along with their release of the movie The Lorax, and they got signatures from everywhere and actually got the the movie studios to make some big changes, or of the Girl Scouts who realized that the cookies they were selling contained palm oil, an ingredient that leads to forest, to deforestation, and thought, okay, that's really not right, and we should write some letters and get people talking about this issue. Or an organization that's near and dear to my heart called Student Voice, founded by high school and college students, and they go around the country on listening tours talking to students of all ages about what their schools are doing and how they could be better. So, so many of the organizations and people making important changes in the world are not even 18 yet. And that's incredible. We live in a moment when just because you're not old enough to drive or you're not old enough to vote doesn't mean you can't get people around the world incredibly passionate about what you care about. You have so many tools at your disposal and you have ways to get other people on your side. It's easy to feel sometimes like the things that challenge us are weaknesses. But I realized from talking to friends who have overcome incredible adversity, like growing up in poverty and not being sure where their next meal would come from or whether or not they'd be able to make it to college, these things made them look around and think, okay, I need to make sure that this doesn't happen to other people. I need to make sure that we build a world where everybody can access what they need. And so if you speak openly and honestly about your story, about your challenges, about the things in your community that you want to make better and to change, many of those challenges can ultimately become superpowers. Your voice and your story matters. Please use it because the world is counting on you.